everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week we are going to continue on with our Christmas theme. And I have another Christmas project for you, another snowy one. And this is a really, really simple one. I know that I say that every time, but honestly, these are so quick and easy, and that's why I love them so much, is because you really can do them in just a few minutes. So this one, again, uh, uses very few stamps. Uh, we're gonna create this little wreath, and we're gonna put this little fawn uh, on the inside, but you can put anything in here. So a little structure, a little church. Uh, you can put anything inside these wreaths. So just a really fun idea for you. So let's get started on this one. Uh, we are going to need a few things. So uh, we're going to need uh, from the mini critter set, we're gonna use the little deer. So this little guy right here. Uh, in the foliage set, in the second one, we're gonna use the fur bow. And then in uh, this one, the spring basket set, we're gonna use the little um, broadleaf. So it's this one that goes around to the left. And then uh, in the branches set, this little one, little spindly one. And then in the uh, in the foliage set, so we're gonna use the vine uh, in this one. Okay, so let's get going. And you can see that I've kind of marked my, my paper here. So what I've done is I've created a circle and I think this one is pretty close. The outside one is about three inches. Um, I'm never precise about anything. I usually just find something and trace it around it. Uh, because I'm always in a hurry. So I am I'm not very exact on things, but this looks pretty close to three inches. And then the one on the inside is just a little bit over two and a half. So basically what we're doing is doing a large circle and then a small one right on the inside. And the reason for the small one is for the text. So if you don't wanna add the text to it, you don't need this inside circle. Okay, and then I made little um, hash marks here just to quarter it off into sections because I am going to write the text in and I wanna be sure that I've spaced it out and it's easier to do things in quadrants like that. Okay, so that being said, let's get going. And we're gonna start out by inking the, um, the little fur bow. And we're gonna use that with the number 72, so the pine green. And we're just gonna kind of walk it along the outside and turn your paper. So I think this is much easier to just turn my watercolor paper so that I can um, kind of walk my way around this way. And you're still going to stamp it, you know, a bunch of times. So you wanna get in there, get it in there at least three or four times. So you get the dark to light. It doesn't have to be exact, um, which I love about it, that it doesn't have to be exact because you know when you're in a hurry or if you are making your Christmas cards and you're making like 900, um, you've gotta have a project that's quick and easy. And I know some of you probably have 900 friends that you send Christmas cards to. So all the more reason to get started early. Okay, so we have kind of worked our way around here and you can kind of look and see if you have any uh, little sparse areas uh, if your circle looks a little lopsided, you can add a few more in like that. And then let's go on to the other um, the other foliage. So this is the broad leaf, and we are going to just ink this one. And I said we were going the other direction, but it is actually the one that goes to the right. That's the one I'm using. <clears throat> but there are two in that set, so. Um, you can just grab either of them. And again, we're just kind of working our way around. And I, I kind of chose this one. This one goes off to the right. I, I kind of chose this one because it kind of goes away from the wreath and adds a little more um, volume to it. But again, that's totally up to you too. These wreaths are just really fun to do. So again, kind of look it over, see if there's anywhere that you need to add something. And um, if you're happy with it, let's go on to the next step and that's to add the water. So dip your brush and pinch it off. So just pinch it off. And we're gonna start dabbing at this. So just touch it. And just kind of work your way around. So easy. Remember, these are tiny little lines, especially these fur bows, so you don't need to add a lot of water to it. Just barely touch it. Uh, you don't you don't wanna lose the integrity of the stamp. In other words, you know, we still wanna see that it's a pine bow, 
um, or a fur bow, but we, we wanna just soften those lines. So not too much water, and that's why we dip our brush and pinch it off, always pinch it off. In fact, when you pinch it off, it should look flat. So when you turn it to the side, you should see that it looks flat. And it doesn't matter uh, which, which way you, you touch the paper with it. So uh, you don't have to touch the flat side or the, or the pointed side. It's gonna come back to a point as soon as you start using it. So as soon as you touch your paper, it's gonna come back to a point. And just keep working your way around. This is so fun. And there's no, you know, there's so many things that you can do with these wreaths. Uh, so many different types of foliage and things that you can put in them to make them really festive or make them for any holiday season just by changing the colors. Okay, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to my fur bow and I wanna see some definite lines in here. So I'm gonna ink this again and I'm just gonna stamp it in here maybe one time uh, in a couple of places because I wanna see those sharp lines. And again, this is gonna give us some more uh, dimension in here. And just keep turning your paper And just work your way around. That looks pretty good. And I don't need to add any water to that. So I'm just gonna leave that alone and let it be just really detailed like that. Okay, so let's go on to the next step and that's to add our little fawn in here. So we're gonna ink him up in the sepia. And just add sepia to him. And we want to stamp him pretty light in the center, so don't push down on him too hard, just very light. These are really, really tiny lines, and so we don't need to add a ton of um, pressure because it creates the, the lines become too dark, and you, we really don't want to see the outline of something kind of sitting in a snowy field. We want to just see the little deer. So I hope that makes sense. So now I'm going to drag some of this color uh, out of the lines, just very, very lightly. And keep pinching your brush off. If you feel like when you're doing these tiny, tiny little um, images, if you feel like too much color is coming out, just keep, just keep pinching your brush and get it drier and drier. And you wanna, you wanna see that highlight at the top. So the very top of this little deer, we wanna see that highlight. So the face, this area in here where the eyes are, the face should always be the lightest. And then I'm just gonna come back in here with my fine tip, this is sepia, and I'm really gonna darken his little nose and his eyes, and I think in here where his ears are. And he looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and add the sky in. So the sky is going to be African violet. So number 86. And we're just gonna water this down. So it's always better to start out light and you can always add more color in here. So we're gonna come, come from behind here and we're gonna kind of create a little dome. So just like this, so a little rounded edge and you want to stop because you're going to create this background here so we're going to create the snowy bank just by leaving it white so you're just going to drop that sky down and just leave it and then you can take some of that blue now and just add a little bit of color underneath here doesn't take a lot just a little bit underneath and actually, I think it um, it adds a lot to take some of this blue now and just put it on this deer, just a little tiny bit. You can pick up just a tiny bit of color and depending on how much water you have on here, you can make it really, really light. 
And you can see how that really just pops that out. Okay, so let's go on to the next step, super easy one, and that is to put our little holly in. And I'm just gonna ink this now in the, um, the 72, so the pine green. And I'll just put one over here maybe. And then maybe over here. And I just barely tap that in twice. Uh, and then don't add any water yet. Go ahead and put the foliage on. So we're gonna use the vine and we're just gonna use the tip. So just a few leaves on here. And we're gonna use that same pine green again. And just ink a few of these little leaves. And a few over here. Dip your brush in water and we're going to just blend out this foliage. Not the stems, you don't have to do anything to those, just leave them. And then just take a little of your, um, the blue again, and you're just gonna make a little shadow under here. Don't let this intimidate you, honestly. Just make a little squiggle underneath. Super easy. And then let's take the fine tip now of our persimmon. So this is persimmon. And we're gonna make our little berries in here. Just put them in little groups of three or four, just wherever. This is what really makes it look festive is when you add just a little bit of red as a highlight. It just kind of changes everything. So, so easy. So we've got this little guy in here now and I'm just gonna add some snow with my, um, so this is a uniball, this is a, a pigment white, a white pen. And I'm just gonna add some snow in here. and kind of concentrate that snow where the color is the darkest so that you can see it. That looks good. And you can leave it like this or you can go in and put in the text. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that and then the rest will be up to you. And also what you wanna write in here is up to you too. So I put in Joy to the World and I don't have the best handwriting, but sometimes I think people just appreciate that you took the trouble to do it and they don't expect that it's going to be perfect. And I think that's part of um, it being handmade. And then just a little dot in between and just keep working your way around. Oh, I'm getting to the end here. I'm gonna have to really crowd this in. And I think I'll just end it there. I don't think anybody will even notice. And there you go. We can add a little sparkle to it. Just add some glitter. This is a wink of Stella. Just add a little bit here and there. You can add some sparkle to this little guy. I wish you could see it better on the video, but it's pretty glittery right now. And one more thing to do, and that is to sign a date. 
hashtags we made are to help us add the text in here. So if you want to do that, I added in joy to the world and you can see that I did that in each section. So hopefully that will help you and uh, be sure to erase your pencil lines once you're finished and everything is completely dry. Be sure to sign and date and put that on a card or put it in a frame and give it away to someone. You're gonna make their day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week.